come on. There it goes. What's up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I have some exciting news from the OCG in our Duelist of Legends Pack 4 that we'll be getting in January. And we have another Harpy card. We have Harpy's Feather Roasting. Um, or Roasting. Uh, just for those who want to understand the terminology, um, Roosting, or Roasting, is actually the term for birds when they are at rest when they are um recovering energy and when they're taking a sit so um it's i even more ironic that harpies have it as a sort of card text um so it's pretty much it like it says here on why joe pro it says harpies pot of avarice and that's literally what this card is so um harpies feather roosting harpy no hane ha hane yasumi uh, Harpy's feathers, ro Feather Roosting. Uh, normal spell. You can activate a card with this card's name uh, once per turn. Target three Harpy Lady or in or Harpy Lady Sisters in your graveyard. Return them to your deck and then draw one card. Or if you control a level five or higher Harpy Monster, you then when you activate this card, draw two cards. From uh, you'll draw two cards. Uh, after this card's activation, no, after this card's activated, you can also summon monsters except wind monsters for the rest of the turn. So, this is the card a lot of people have wanted because it's finally a spell that Harpies can use that is clearly our pot of avarice. Um, this is honestly, I've been waiting for this card for a long period of time, and the reason why is because I finally get two things out of this card. I get a two major things I get out of this card, I should say. I get draw power and I get a recovery out of this. Because Harpies will always forever send a ton of Harpy monsters to the graveyard. We have effects like Harpy Chandler. We have the effects of Hysteric Sign. Well Hysteric Party. Um, we're always using we're always discarding Queen um, of course, exceeds summoning, link summoning, and stuff like that. So you have ways of generating this card's um, conditions. And activating this effect is pretty simple. Now, when it ties into the Norse Harpy support, of course, it means that we'll have ways of searching it, ways of recovering it from the graveyard. We have Harpy Oracle. We have Harpy perfumer we have hysteric sign that can search for it because that's harpy in its name so we have a ton of utility to not only get this card to hand but we have a lot of utility to return this card from the grave now some people don't like this card because in order to get the bonus from it you need to have a level five or higher harpy on the field well that's not too hard when you have when you're playing stuff like harpy chandler you're playing Harpy's Pet Dragon, and you're playing Harpy Lady Sisters. A lot of the newer cards are supporting a lot of the older cards that pretty much were left to the wayside and weren't used because of the fact that they were pretty much either out of date or just really not big in the circulation. And a lot of players are now giving it the chance and giving it the shot to play a lot of these older cards. So... It's really good that we're getting a lot of these re a lot of these reprints. Um, they have confirmed Elegant Egotist being reprinted. I wouldn't be surprised if we either get a retrained Harpy Lady Sisters or we get a up to date text on Harpy Sisters, which I don't know how much up to date that can get, um, unless it clarifies that they are Harpy Lady while they're in the graveyard and on the field or. They're counted as three Harpy Ladies instead of one, which I don't know how that's going to work, but um, I would like to see a retrain Harpy Lady Sisters, at least for the fact that we have cards like this, we have um, a lot of just basic utility, and I would love to see Harpy Lady Sisters get reprinted, or at least a retrain. I think a lot of people, including myself, would probably love to see a, a retrain Harpy Lady Sisters, just because of the fact that... Um, the the Harpy Lady Sisters we have now it's it's real it's dull. But let's be let's as much as I love my Harpy Lady Sisters, they're kind of the dull end of the stick. And just to the fact that when the game started, like if you look at it on, in, in a general sense, they were a level six monster that could be easily summoned, but resummoning them was the issue. Later on, of course, 
printing tags did get updated, but a lot of people are still not running sisters. So for the fact that a lot of the newer support cards are now saying we can search for cards that list Harpy Lady sisters in the text of its card, like Perfumer and Oracle, um, we're going to see a lot of more Harpy Lady sisters being played. I do see a lot of people playing and testing this card. Um, I think this card is going to be a really good come up for a lot of Harpy players. It's, it's, first off, let's just talk about this artwork. It's so beautiful. It's Harpy, Harpist, Channeler, and Dancer. They are sitting in what I believe is either a pond or a spring in a forest. And they're just relaxing. That The whole you know, scenario of this is that they're relaxing in the artwork. And it's such beautiful artwork. Um, so I'm really excited to see this. I'm really excited about this card. Um, I see a lot of benefits from this card. Just on the fact that we can get Chandler's back, Perfumers. Uh, we can get Harpus back if she has more targets still to search for. Um, any of your Harpy Lady targets for Egotist, like Sisters. Um, the big issue people will probably have with this is, of course, the level 5 or higher. Um, but if you can... Play your advances with Harpy Chandler. You can play your advances with Harpy uh, Sisters and Harpy's Pet Dragon. This is a, a easy one for shot card. Um, and thing about it is a lot of people are saying, well, how do we use this on the first turn? It, it It's not a first turn card. This is more like, well, regular Pot of Average. It's a recovery card. You play it when you need your resources back. You play it when you want to circumvent a lot of what you've lost, like, when you get card destruction, or if you got, um, yeah, if you got card destruction, your opponent's depleting your hand, your field got right geki, your heartbeats, uh, your hysteric party got destroyed, and you want to get into your other ones, bam, you can play heartbeats, feathers, roosting, you can go send the cards back to the deck, shuffle, and get into more monsters. Now, yes, you'll get into one card, but let's look at the advances. We've had Upstar Goblin that gave us one card. We've had Jar of Avarice that gave us one card. We've had Jar of Greed giving us one card. I mean, if heck you be, let's look at Card of Demise, which I think will probably be a lot of people's biggest excitement is that they don't have to run Card of Demise anymore because we have Harpy's Feather Roosting to do a lot of that for you. Card of Demise is more so the, like, stall basis deck. Or your deck like True Kings that don't really need a special summon, don't really need to have much presence. You can just tribute summon a lot of your monsters off and then have a big meter stand behind you. Unfortunately, Harpies don't have a big access to big beaters, big attack monsters. So with a card like this, this is more of your late game recovery. And then you can spam your monsters like spamming Great Flies, going into Lightning Chidori's, going to Castell. Um, for Synchro variants, what if you're playing Wind Witch? Bam, you can go into Clear Wing Synchro Dragons even after activating this. So, um, it's a lot of combination of Harpy decks that you can run. Even the True King Harpy deck, True King, True Draco Harpy deck. Uh, you can send all your Wind stuff back to the deck, draw into this, draw into cards thanks to this, and then keep your plays going. So, you could, if you wanted to combine this with Card Demise, I, I, I mean, if you could, but the sacrifice is that you're going to not have a hand, and then you're forced to summon wind monsters, and I think most of the true Dracos are a different attribute to begin with. The Draco Phoenix is the only exception, but I think a lot of people don't run her. Um, I do know they run the Draco Mage, but even then, I think you probably have better options, and you could only tribute something at that point, so, yeah. But my, my overall um, look at this is I'm really excited for this card. It's a lot of things that I've wanted. I can do all, get, a, get it real fast. I can retrieve it. And I can keep a lot of my plays going. So I'm super excited about this. Um, I hope you guys are excited for this card as well. A lot of Harpy players have been going crazy over this card. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm super excited for this. Uh, can't wait to see a lot of other people's reactions. Can't wait to test this card out when we get the chance to online. So let me know what you guys think. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. HBJ signing out. Take care.